Hello, this is Greg Van Kirk, and I just wanna offer some further guidance for It's What You Set In Motion, a toolbox for collaborative change making. And for a few moments here, I'd like to offer guidance on scaffolding change making tools, right? And that's scaffolding the, the change making tools throughout the book, the 76 tools and the 13 toolkits, um, through option one, using change making innovation mini cases, or option two, using change-making innovation mini cases and change-making trim tabs, okay? So just going back again to review this idea of scaffolding here um, on page 11, talk a little bit about, you know, in how this book works, what, what scaffolding in is, how, is, how you use it. Um, but um, in, in brief, um, when you think about you're building something, and here we're building our knowledge about the change-making tools and how to use them, um, we have scaffolding around it as if we'd have scaffolding around a house if you're building a house, say. That scaffolding in this case is the change making innovation mini cases and the change making trim tabs. All right, so you use that scaffolding to learn and get a deep understanding of the change making tools. Um, and then once you have it, you can pull the scaffolding away. All right, and then you've got a, a strong house, right? You've got a strong foundation of knowledge for the tools. Uh, it's also a really fun and dynamic way to do it. Um, and one other thing to touch on as well, and so much of this is about a participatory and applied learning, and it's about pushing down the learning pyramid. So. These percentages obviously are more of a guide, but the whole idea is that the more we move from passive to participatory learning, the more we retain, right? So the more we go from lecture where maybe we retain 5% to reading where we retain 10%, all the way down to teaching others where we retain 90%, the better we are. So the scaffolding helps you to achieve all of that. Okay, so let me walk through this to, uh, to help you out. And I'm just gonna go along um, with what I have here. A big note is this, um, in particular, scaffolding the tools, and in this case with the change making innovation in many cases, is something I do all the time as an educator, as a facilitator, um, when I'm consulting, um, you name it. I just find it really, really helpful, uh, brings a lot of joy and inspiration and understanding, and gives people the opportunity to practice a tool. Right? It's one of the things I think that's lacking in our, our field oftentimes is where you go out there and make change, go out there and innovate or what have you, but you don't have a time to, time to, to practice having really productive conversations um, within your team or your, your, to your organization or, or your community. So, so the first thing to get going on this um, is one, as I have here, you might need to prepare by making photocopies or copies of the Google Sheet, Sheet links uh, or QR codes, right? So meaning make sure as you go through and plan this out that everybody has everything that they need. Right, and, and maybe you're going through and making, using the QR codes and everybody's hooked up and has editable um, tools, right? Um, or you're just making a photocopy of the sheet and some of the other components that we'll go through. So um, with regards to this, we, to get started, okay? Pretty, pretty straightforward, lecture and reading. So choose a change-making tool right, out of the 76, the one that's most applicable for you, what you're doing that day. Teach and or have participants read, review the tools description, instruction and resources page and change-making conversation worksheet, the worksheet. This might be an exercise you have participants do before the meeting or class. Save you time, something people can do individually. So in this case, I picked one of our change-making tools, and one of my favorites is the keys to innovation adoption, right? So either at the beginning of your session, your class, or beforehand, um, people are gonna get this, the participants, keys to innovation adoption, they're gonna read about it, get an understanding, read how to use it, and then review how to use the tool here. So get some familiarity around it so that you can hit the ground running when you're all together. Okay, so that's it, that's the foundation. Next, option one, okay. Uh, and that is practice by doing, using the change-making innovation mini cases. So <clears throat> tell participants they now have, to, they're, they're now going to practice using the change-making tools worksheet, this, with a change-making innovation mini case example. Choose and watch one of the three change-making innovation mini cases from the description, instruction, and resources page, right here. Then, in small groups, have participants practice the change-making tools worksheet. Again, this. Rewatch the video as needed. So you're using the change-making innovation mini case um, as a way to practice the tool. That's the scaffolding, right? So, for example, here, as you'll see on each one of these, I have three examples that I think are good, are suggestions for scaffolding. Here we have the change-making innovation mini cases. There are three examples. And later you'll see the change-making trim tabs, three examples too. 
These are just three, there are many more, right? So here, based on this, we've got to go to one of our mini cases. So I'm going to go to V5 on page 358. Okay. And what we see here is V5, page 358, purifying water with the sun. I love this video, excuse me. So this is, um, it says, learn about how young social entrepreneur Ana Luisa Santo has created a social enterprise that helps families get access to clean water for the first time. She's mixing ingenuity, empathy, and the power of the sun to help people live healthier lives. So watch that video, right? and then come back and say, looking back at our tool now, right, is the keys to adoption, where is her, how is our, it would be how is her innovation achieving this, a relative advantage, compatibility, simplicity, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right? So you're analyzing her work, you're analyzing what she's done to create access to, to purified water, right? From your perspective, what's the strength of how, uh, how much of a relative advantage there is? Right? And then as well, maybe what are some ideas for emphasis and or improvement? What other things might you do based on what you know? Right? Use your limited knowledge, use your creativity, have some really positive conversations and learn how to use the tool. Okay, next, what you're gonna do is have people share their experiences, what they learned from practicing using the worksheet. So you can do that in small groups. Certainly this works great virtually. On breakout rooms, you do that certainly as in a plenary session, everybody sharing their experience, what they learned, what they liked, what they didn't, what they're not sure of, right? And then the last part is apply. So break up into existing teams or small groups. So I'm assuming you might already have teams for um, project teams or work teams or teams within your organization, um, student teams, and then use the worksheet for a real project, venture idea, etc. If you don't have that, you can just stop here and you practiced right? And you learn the tool, right? But with that, what you basically go back is now go through your own project and go through how is our innovation achieving this and work through everything. Okay. So you got to learn, you got to practice by using a real world case of, of an inspiring social innovator, uh, change maker, and now you get to apply it to your own work. Okay. So next is option two, okay. Use, using change making innovation, mini cases and trim tabs. Okay. So here we're going to use both. Right, so with this, what we wanna do is, all right, we already have our foundation, and we're gonna jump down to here, okay? Lecture reading, choose two or three of the change-making trim tabs, okay? Um, so here we've got our change-making trim tabs still in our keys to innovation adoption. Choose two or three of these, okay? I think it just reinforces it a bit more. Um, for each of the trim tabs, this might be an exercise you have participants do before they meet the class. Okay, so you, the people are gonna familiarize themselves. So. We've got CT4, CT13, CT17. So I've got a few here. Okay. So CT4, right, one of the trim tabs, a strategic principle, is help empower women as last mile professionals. So you want people either beforehand or during class or during your, you know, during your, your session to read through and familiarize themselves with this. Okay. Just this part up here, the description, uh, and if they have time, some of the videos, that's great. Right. But more than anything, the description and the quote. Not worrying about this right now because we're not working on this. That's CT4, help women empower women as last mile professionals. CT13 is restructure it. Again, have everybody read through that and familiarize themselves, right? And it's about looking at existing solutions and solving them and, and, and restructuring them um, because they're inadequate or suboptimal um, so that they solve the problem in a better way. Okay, so you've gotten up to speed on that. Great, so we just picked two or three. We got those strategic principles down. Right? Three, discuss discussion to each other's walk through the change making tools worksheet. Again, we're back here. Okay. Uh, and as you do this, open up a discussion about how the focus on the change make, of the change making trim tabs you reviewed might influence how you go about using the worksheet. So helping to empower women as last mile professionals, is that in some way going to help us um, from a relative advantage or compatibility uh, perspective, right? And maybe if, for example, in my case, if we had women who were selling cook stoves, right, empowering women as last mile professionals, um, the, they understand uh, the users of the cook stoves who are typically other women, right? So maybe that's in some way this can help us with our compatibility, right? So how do I apply the principle to the tool? How does it make me more effectively use this tool, right? And the other one, restructure it, right? Maybe if we look at, um, you know, we look at this and we think about, okay, maybe we're going to... How are we going to restructure something maybe to make it more simple or make it more trialable, right? So, or more of a relative advantage. How does that thinking of where things don't work and how to improve them, how to restructure it, um, how does that inform how we address these? 
Okay. Um, and then last, what we're going to do is once we've done that, we've had those conversations um, and learned from each other. Okay. We're going to go back to, to step two, three, and four from up here. Right. And just repeat what we did here. Okay. So here we're going, when we go to using change making innovation in mini case, we're just going right to the mini cases. Then we're applying. Right. When we're using option two, we're going to the trim tab. Then we're going to the mini cases, then applying, working through it all as we go. All right. So, <clears throat> excuse me, hopefully that is helpful. Uh, please don't hesitate to reach out if anything there is confusing or if I wasn't clear. Um, and also, if you just want some ideas on, on how to um, do this yourself or, you know, build in some of this scaffolding in new and different ways, um, I'm always here. Um, just reach out. So thank you so much. Have a good one.